Well, Rob, certainly not a surprise to anyone here that has already been projected. When I spoke with the campaign this morning, they were thinking that this whole thing was going to be over by 7.30 tonight, which I found that was pretty surprising, but obviously not so since she has already been projected a winner. Now, this race consistently always has been deemed one of those safe ones for Democrats. Tammy Duckworth has far outraised and outspent her opponent. Now, the 54-year-old Duckworth served two terms in Congress before beating incumbent Senator Mark Kirk in 2016. She became the first woman with a disability to be elected to Congress and was the first U.S. Senator to give birth in office. And while her personal story of becoming a double amputee after being shot down in the Iraq war is compelling, Senator Duckworth says voters are sending her back for a second term because of her hard work as a legislator. She is credited with saving the American Disabilities Act and also some several other pieces of legislation. But during the campaign, she, like many Democrats, were blamed by their opponents for not doing enough to stop inflation. We spoke with her about it this morning. I hear a lot of complaints from Republicans about inflation, but they didn't do anything about inflation. It was Democrats who passed the Inflation Reduction Act, right? We're the ones who actually are lowering drug costs for senior citizens, capping insulin at $35 a month starting in January, uh, capping their out-of-pocket expenses at $2,000 a month. I introduced the Price Gouging Act to go after oil companies that are price gouging. Uh, these are Democrats that are doing that. And so if they want to talk about inflation, I'm happy to, because we're the only ones coming forward with solutions. And as her campaign predicted, they predicted this morning this was going to be an early night, and it sure is going to be an early night. Here it is, 712, and the AP has already predicted that Tammy Duckworth is going back for a second term. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.